Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here today with a look at the Legion Javelin Attack Speeder. This is the Laz Cannon uh, variant one. And it's a, it's a pretty cool kit. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than the normal land speeder. And personally, I really like it because it feels like it's a, it's an homage to some of you old timers might remember the, uh, what was it, the deodorant can skimmer conversion from back in the day. One of the White Dwarf articles is a very neat, very neat article. And I really feel like some of the styling of this particular land speeder is uh, de derived or inspired from that or po quite possibly a tribute back to that particular iconic conversion from, from the old Rogue Trader era. It doesn't quite look like some of the, the first metal land speeder had like the open canopy with, I think, the, the the guys were just kind of suspended. There wasn't really like a armored cockpit of any sorts. It was more, I guess it was supposed to be some force shield kind of thing. And the, the second one was a little bit more pronounced. It had all of the, the fuselage components, the traditional thing. It was just smaller and it was pewter. Not quite as big as the uh, the plastic one we all, we've all come to know and love or, or loathe, depending on which version. They, they didn't go together so well at first, but... Regardless, so this is the uh, this is the javelin kit from from Forge World, and it's definitely a neat kit. It's got a lot of cool cool things I wanted to show you. So let's take a look at it. There's the instruction sheet where I just wanted to show you the two different variants. You got the last cannon variant and the cyclone missile variant here, which basically lock into these uh, turret or sponson rings. And this version here has uh, like uh, armored armored collar. Now you'll notice that these components are actually very similar and also reused from the Predator as well as the, uh, the Sikran and I think the Spartans the Spartans is probably a little bit bigger because it has the quad last cannons on it but for most of the Demos pattern Predators and, and other Rhino chassis kind of style uh, vehicles they, they're reusing a lot of these these components here so that's kind of why they did this with this back piece here the, the engine piece is abnormally, I think it's a little bit big for the vehicle, but it doesn't take anything away from it, if you know what I mean. And then the rest of the components you hear, you get the drivers, you got the floor, you got your fuselage, you got your engine compartment, then a, a couple, uh, this is actually the piece that ties it together, then you got your wing fairings, your thrust uh, engine nozzles, your heavy bolter, the rail for the heavy bolter, the probe, the seats, all that stuff. So let's kind of take a closer look at it. Uh, then I wanted to show you. Oh yeah, here is basically how it goes together, and then you can kind of see the the spots I was talking about there. It doesn't take anything away from it, and definitely has that iconic deodorant, the old speed stick deodorant can front kind of look to it. And then here's where the uh, the sponsor weapons kind of lock in there. And of course, you can you can see those are the those are the ones from the Rhino chassis variants that Ford Road has put out. So let's take a look at the bigger the bigger pieces here. This is the this is the engine section. Then we've got the fuselage itself, which is the front, and a little bit warped. You know, you're gonna have to submerge it in some water. The anti-grav pieces there, and the, the flooring itself. Then you've got the uh, the uh, cockpit piece to tie it all together. And here's the seats right there. So there's there's your your main components for the actual kit itself. This, of course, locks in here. These lock in here. These come down here and lock over top of that right there and then that kind of oops that kind of pulls it all together right here ish so anyways just to kinda, just kind of give you an idea of of the actual big uh, big component there there's everything and then we kind of take a look at some of the smaller pieces and obviously you're going to get a flight stand in this nobody needs to see that nothing nothing to do there nothing to see here so here's the here's the sponsor pieces I was talking about that are reused the power feeds for it then you got the collars the main uh, main wires here then you got some last cannon pieces the heavy bolter with the drum and the probe then you've got some power feed cables the actual pilot pieces these are pilot heads then you got the the nice little uh, dude standing kind of upright in the cockpit there shooting a heavy bolter screaming get some get some then you got the little sensor assembly piece there some some of the armor pieces for the actual weapons themselves and some shoulder pads and things like that and there's the uh, heavy bolter heavy bolter rail uh, mounting and bracket there for around the the passenger side there you're probably wondering why I'm featuring this this particular model here it's been out for a while this is actually a prize 
for the Horus Heresy Weekender we're having uh, the middle of January 2014 here at FTW Games, the home of Spiky Bits. So we bought a bunch of prizes for it and they came in and I was like, well, I haven't seen some of these kits. Maybe, you know, maybe some of the viewers on here haven't either, so let's take a look at them. And this is one of those, of course. So there it is. Uh, definitely if you can make it out, there's one here. There's one in the World of Battle in Memphis, Tennessee. There's one at Dice of War in Los Angeles. And I believe another store in Washington State as well. You can always get on the, the forums, the 30K forums. I don't know the exact address, but you can get to it off of uh, 40kapocalypseblog.com. Uh, so anyways, that's it for this one. Make sure you stay in the trenches. Uh, subscribe to this video here and check out the blog, blog.spikybits.com. And definitely listen in weekly on uh, our podcast, Forge the Narrative. Spiky Bits.